Windows Journal. If I go to Tools, Options, I can go ahead and create my default page, my default font, and my default pen settings. I can also go to View, and I have some more choices here, like do I want to show the scroll bar on the reading view? or do I see the folder list, etc. If I say I want automatic recovery within three minutes, two minutes, one minute, whatever you want. I can also enable the handwriting recognition and this is a very important step if I go to file import preferences I can go ahead and import any file I can import Word, I can import PDF, etc. Also, if I click on Tablet Settings, I can go ahead and configure the pen and the touch uh, display, the buttons, all my shortcuts are here. And also, you can calibrate your pen you know, if you're right handed, left handed, etc. So, that was under your tools options and then make sure you press OK to save all your settings. If I want to insert an image in my note, I go to Insert Picture and as a default it's going to go to your Pictures folder. I'm going to select the picture, click Insert, and there it is. I can manipulate my picture I can make it smaller by clicking on the handles. I can also write over it. I'm going to select my pen and I'm going to select the color yellow. And there it is. I can write over it. You can also use your highlighter over your picture and in order to select your picture you click on the lasso click on the picture once and move it around this is a good tool if you want to trace a picture you can right click and it'll give you the four options the cut copy paste and delete so i'm going to copy it and then i'm going to paste it and there you go it only copies the image going to delete it. Okay, the icons on your toolbar, you have the first one is for new note. The next one is to see all your recent notes. So if you click on that, it's going to give you a folder and you can open it up. You can look at your notes by list, by folders, by creation date, by modification date with flags and then you can also look in different folders you can browse for a folder as well this is very very useful the next icon is to save your note the fourth icon is to import let's say you want to import a word document I'm gonna go ahead and import that one click OK there it is. Now once you get your Word document into journal you can go ahead and annotate it. 